type of chainsaw you're using, whether it's a still or a Husqvarna or even an electric chainsaw, they're fundamentally all the same. Obviously, an electric chainsaw, you don't have to worry about fuel and usually chainsaws are two stroke. So just basic essentials real quick. Uh, make sure that you mix your gas appropriately. If it's a two stroke, most chainsaws are two stroke. Unless it's electric, then obviously you're not mixing anything. Um, chain wax is always good. Chainsaw oil is essential. It works better if it's in a salad dressing container. That's a joke. <laughs> Starting fluids, awesome. Um, also carburetor cleaner will work as starting fluid as well. And then one thing for the Husqvarna, you need a Phillips flathead to tighten or loosen the chain. So when I was using this chainsaw, this Husqvarna, the chain flew off and hit my knee. Luckily it didn't dig in too bad. Um, so yeah, I figured it was a good good moment to teach how to tighten the chain. So I'll set this up and show you real quick. Take a flathead screwdriver and loosen just like that. If you didn't see that, turn it a little bit so you can tighten it and loosen it. You can see that moving right there. So we're going to loosen it, put the chain on real quick, loop it over, make sure the gears right won't go on if they're not in the right spot and then just feed it down and then once you have it pretty much all the way in just hold it tight and then you can tighten that back up mainly it's just getting it over the nose and then these last few just make sure that you're not tightening it with them out so you can loosen it a tiny bit just get that sweet spot make sure they're in there yeah this chainsaw is not very clean probably not the best to show you on a dirty chainsaw but whatever it works there you go, that's how to tighten a chainsaw. Now that we have it tightened, just gotta make sure that it's the right tension. We don't want it too tight, otherwise it will wear out the motor and honestly it won't spin. So you just wanna make sure it's tight, but not too tight. Loose, but not too loose, otherwise it'll fly off and ding your knee. Literally, just barely nicked me, but it could have been a lot worse. wasn't like that before so obviously cutting will loosen a little bit um, but just make sure it's tight and overall that's the tutorial be safe as always subscribe like comment whatever you want to do i hope this was helpful for you and have a wonderful day